Thank you. Thank you for that warm welcome. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's really an honor uh, uh, for you to be here listening to me, I'm sure. So uh, feel free to Twitter about how amazing this talk is. So I also I want to thank Adaptive Path for giving me this generous five minutes in which to impart a whole lifetime of wisdom. So um, for now, a little background. Um, a few years ago, I, I did a talk on, uh, on, on design research that uh, many people said was the definitive talk on the subject. And uh, this time, I'm going to be uh, giving you the inside scoop on design strategy, or as I like to call it, D-strat. <laughs> so there are those people who will tell you that you need a design strategy. But I think that we in this room know better, don't we? Uh, I mean, really, how naive are we? You don't always need a strategy. Do you think Google has a strategy or Facebook or Twitter? No. <clears throat> Just like with sex, sometimes we have to fake it. <laughs> and that's why he's talking on how to lie with design strategy. So, and I'm Dan Saffer of Kicker Studio. Now, what do I mean by the D-strat? Uh, now, gurus will tell you that before you begin a project that you should know what you're designing and why that is. Nonsense. Just build it. Don't worry about who's going to use it or who's going to buy it. Just design products for you and your friends. These are the same gurus who are probably at some fancy pants design firm like Adaptive Path <laughs> or who write for Business Week who will tell you that your product needs to be different than other people's. But, uh, but really, who needs differentiators? Your product is going to be different because you made it, right? It's automatically awesome. People are going to buy it just because you made it. It doesn't matter how good it is or if they need it or not. But we can't all be a dying egomaniac in a black turtleneck. I understand that. We need a little help with our lying. So here's some magic phrases for you. Value add. Whenever someone questions your decisions about why you're making Crystal Pepsi, or why that alarm clock needs to send an email, or how come that toilet has a touch screen, all you need to say is that it adds value. It's a value add. No one can contest that, right? It, it is adding value to someone, even if that someone is you. But, but I can hear your mind saying, but Dan, uh, doesn't this mean more features to our product? Well, of course it does. People love features. You know, in, in fact, you know, the more things that your product can do, the better. Nobody wants to buy something that doesn't do very much. Users want ROI, return on investment. And so do companies, which is why every product should have as its strategy that is for all people everywhere at all time. <laughs> And it doesn't really matter if it's useful or works well, <laughs> just that users think that it's those things. It doesn't matter what the reality is. <laughs> and that companies that we work for think that that's the reality too. You know, every company wants to think that their product, their baby, is the cutest little thing out there, even when that baby is really a monkey in a diaper. <laughs> and that's really why we need to start learning how to lie with design strategy. So thank you, my five minutes are up. Enjoy the rest of the day. God bless IDO.